What is going on? A chilling wave of murders of college students is raising concern about violence on campus. Four slain in just two weeks. Parents send their sons and daughters off to college, expecting them to be safe on campus. But since January, there's been an unusual surge of murders, rapes, and other crimes on college campuses coast to coast. It's target rich for the bad guys. It is a soft target. Um, there's really no police presence. Questions are also being raised about how colleges choose roommates for students. At the University of Colorado in Colorado Springs, talented music student Sam Knopp and his girlfriend were shot dead in his dorm. Police say in a dispute with his roommate over cleaning a messy room. The roommate, 24-year-old Nicholas Jordan, was charged with two counts of murder. Court documents say there was an argument over a bag of trash not placed near Jordan's door. Jordan threatened Knopp and said he would kill him if he was asked to take out the trash again. Ben Porter founded the Roommate app, which matches college students with roommates. He says students often have no say in who they live with. We might not realize that the person we are living with could actually be dangerous to us. Over the weekend in Kentucky, an 18-year-old student at Campbellsville University was found strangled to death in his dorm room. Josiah Kilman in the all-white outfit was a member of the Christian College's wrestling team. Police have charged another member of the wrestling team, 21-year-old Zeke Escalera, with murder. Lincoln Riley. And there's growing national outrage over the murder of nursing student Lakin Riley on the University of Georgia campus. Lakin was beaten to death on a jogging track on campus. Police have arrested Jose Ibarra, a 26-year-old illegal migrant from Venezuela, for her murder. Authorities say Ibarra crossed the border into Texas in 2021. He was arrested in New York City last year for child endangerment but was released and fled to Georgia. The crisis at the border makes the murder political dynamite, and nursing students in Georgia are grieving at the loss of one of their own.